Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. The year is 2024, June 2024, in fact, and Farming Simulator 2022 has indeed evolved since its launch. As you'd imagine, there have been several hotfixes, additional content to download as well. So I thought we'd go back in for all those new aspiring farmers and take a look at the Getting Started Guide to get you out there planting seeds, plowing fields, sowing, getting water, and also using lime and fertilizer. Let's jump in. So straight off the bat, here we are on the Farming Simulator 2022 main screen, okay? This is the loading screen, the menu screen. Of course, we've got career mode on the left-hand side, downloadable content, your achievements, your options, credits, and of course, exit the game. All this standard stuff, really good. Upon occasion, you'll get updates as well from the developers here on the right-hand side. But what we're going to do is we're going to get in straight away into career mode and get started. Totally empty, empty slot. We're going to continue. We're going to go in for new farmer, nice and easy, profitable economy, and it's going to give us a little bit of a helping hand. Fantastic for a new farmer in Farming Simulator 2022. Right, here we go. And continue. Elm Creek. Why not? We can go to Hort Baileron. We can go to Erlingrat, or we can go to the Silver Run Forest. Okay, we're going to go to the standard one, Elm Creek, and why not? This is the map we're going to select, nice and easy, lots of stuff in a small sort of farming town, and it's going to be great for us. Now, these are the DLC and mods that I've currently got going on. Just recently reinstalled the game, lots of stuff there from the Steam community. Some stuff as well that I've got added in. Gone for the Mustang. But here's one of the great things that I'm going to use, and it's great. It's a government subsidy, uh, which will get you a steady income of cash as well. Great for a new player. However, if you don't want to use that and have a little steady stream of income, make the game a little bit more accessible while you're learning, by all means, deselect all of these. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here we are, starting off in Farming Simulator 2022. The customization of your farmer. Here you've got all different shapes, colours and creeds that you can choose from to give a little bit of personality to your farmer. Uh, you've got hairstyles, you can have a hat, you can have moustaches, you can change this, you can select the colour of your hair. In addition to all of that as well, you can choose clothing. You can also choose, well, do you want a more industrial look as well? Things that are branded, things are not. Bit of an Iron Man suit there, which looks a bit ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to go for standard overalls, because why not? Bit of Volvo. You can choose hats, gloves, whatever you want to do. But it has really no pending effect on the game. This is simply cosmetic. Let's confirm. And do we want to start a short guide? Well, why not? It's going to show us the basics of the game. So here we go. Yes, we're in. Right, okay, guided tour. To your left at the edge of your field is a big green harvester. Head over there and touch the exclamation mark right next to it. Okay, so it's W-A-S-D, and we've got a map view for number nine as well. So we're going to do this. So usual mouse look, looking around. We're on the porch of our farmhouse. There's the wellies. This looks like a spitting pot to be perfectly honest with you, and a couple of deck chairs, which is absolutely cool. Right, so we're going to move over. Here's our lovely beginning farm. We've got a field full of what looks to be, yes, wheat. Um, so here we go, over to top liner. This is our harvester. This is one of the fields that we own from the very start. It's wheat, conveniently grown to a stage where it can be harvested. And here is a harvester to do a bit of harvesting as well. So let's get cracking. Let's enter that over here. E to enter. Right, we're in it. Great thing now. What we can do here is we can typically start to attach the harvesters 
combine attachment. So here we go, press Q to attach the tool. Here we go. Brilliant. Um, guided tool, unfold or select the tool. So we're going to unfold it and get it on the on the crack. And we're going to turn it on with B. Okay, so here we go. X, B, brilliant. Now, turn on the harvester. We've done that. You can hire an AI worker who will come and plow the field for you. But that's going to take money. And you should really learn how to do this anyway. So what we're going to do is... Um, Let's get cracking. So the B key turns on the harvester and now it is down to you to use the WASD keys or a gamepad controller if you're using one of those to get cracking and harvest this field. So here we go. Look at that. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Look, 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 look. And we can zoom in and out with the mouse. But we are harvesting a field. We're a farmer now, you know. Look at that. How did Clarkson find it so difficult? Anyway, as soon as you get to this one particular stage, we get to this other part of a guided tour. It says here, wherever a job can be executed by a helper, it will be indicated in the top left panel to hire a helper. Okay, so we can. So press H to hire an AI worker. Boom, there you go. Done. And an AI worker is indeed going to harvest this field for us. That's brilliant. So we're going to exit this vehicle by pressing E. There it is. And they'll go through and harvest that entire thing for us, leaving us free to get ourselves through this lovely field of wheat over to the next section of the tutorial. Right, OK, we've got a truck parked in the barn over there. And what have we got? Well, I'll tell you what we've got. Here we are, guided tour. Fields that have been harvested, and here's a great example we've got here, need to be cultivated before they can be sown anew. So, great, harvested it. Now we've got to prepare that land ready for sowing of the next harvest. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go in and we're going to attach all our tools and our weights on the front of the tractor. The weight here brings down the weight of the tractor so that anything heavy on the back can get, we can have not only good traction for the wheels, but also allows you to have good contact as well with the cultivator we've got at the back. Okay, moving into the tractor. Here we go, brilliant. So bearing in mind, we can honk the horn. Right, okay, right, we've got the tool on the back. Uh, we can lower the tool with V as well. We can also lift the weight as well with V. Weight comes up and down. Weight for when you're driving around on the roads, down for when you're doing all the stuff on the fields. Uh, we've connected our tool at the back. And you know what? Again, we'll hire the AI worker to get on with it. We're going to move on here. Here we go. Just like that and hire an AI worker to do our work. They've lowered the cultivator, and here we are cultivating, turning. And there's something ASMR about this, isn't there, really? Let's face it, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, we're going to actually plow, or I say cultivate a field. No dramas. Now, here's a good thing as well, switching in between vehicles that you have on the farm. So pressing tab will get us to the next vehicle. There you go. And what does this mean? Well, we're now going on and we're going to start to sow seeds on a prepared field. You see, we've got our combine over there doing its harvesting stuff. Somebody obviously trespassing uh, along a footpath. So let's attach this lovely thing we've got here. Right, okay, let's attach it. There you go. We've attached. The weight is there. We're going to get the weight lowered. Lower the weight. And now we are going to attach the cedar. Now, good stuff. Here's the stuff. We're going to grow wheat, but you can change what you're going to sow by pressing the Y key. Wheat, canola, soybeans, sorghum, oil, sea red, grass. Right. Here's the thing. Pressing the escape key gets you into the calendar and it'll tell you 
where you are. So at the moment, we're still in the area, right, of harvesting stuff. So we can actually plant canola here, and that's what we're going to do. So this is very important. So you don't want the crops to fail. You want to get the maximum yield as well, and all that's done seasonally. So looking at this particular crop calendar will give you a bit of a helping hand. So we're obviously harvesting um, barley and wheat or wheat, sorry. Uh, and, you know, we've got some oats that can be harvested. But for planting, canola is in season as well is popular grass and what seem to be oilseed radish. Anyway, canola. So what we're going to do now is we are going to select canola by pressing the Y key. There you are, select seed. And we are going to hire our worker. And away we go. And they're going to do some planting and hopefully not crash into that combine all the way over there. How cool is that? So there you go. We're planting. We're doing it. And how cool is this? We've actually got the starts now of a working farm. Now, if they get another piece of machinery gets in the way, then don't worry about it. Your AI worker, using the power of AI, will pause. There's not going to be a collision. Any collisions here are what you're going to make with like vehicles on the road who don't stop for farming machinery. Which is cool. Right, there you go. We're off. So, look at this. Our combine will very soon allow us to harvest all of that. Now, we can get in here right, and see what's going on. At the bottom right-hand side, you can see how much of the wheat we've harvested in our combine harvester. Obviously, when the hopper's full, it needs to be decanted into a truck, which theoretically is this one. And we'll get there soon enough. Now, we attach it, so Q to attach, good stuff. We're going to open the cover, else all our lovely wheat is going to fall off. There you go. Um, and when we're ready, they've done that last little bit there of wheat. What we can do is, is get it all decanted into the back of that trailer. Cool stuff. So here we are, towing a trailer. How cool is that? And our lovely field that has just been harvested. So we're going to swing that around now. Cool. Uh, we're going to get over there towards our harvester. Looking for the pipe. Now there's an AI worker in there. Is that going to help us out? Probably not. Anyway, we'll go a little bit further like that. We're going to change into the combine. We're going to extend our pipe. Oh, there you go. There's the pipes out, the pipes out, the pipes out. Now, is that... That's going to fill up our trailer for all that lovely grain. What could possibly go wrong? We're then going to transfer ourselves over here and we're going to take it off to market. Let's go, go, go. How cool is this? So as you can see, we've already completed our harvest mission. Now, if we go back into the map section, you can see where things are and you can tell we've got animal dealers, We've got sawmills, we've got Johnson's Farmer's Market, all that sort of stuff. Clicking on the graph, we've got wheat. Um, there you go. It shows you who's got the best prices. So we've got Johnson's Farmer's Market or Goldcrest Valley. So, okay, we're going to tag that place. Brilliant. And we're going to show price fluctuations. Okay, brilliant. Um, all this is part of the, the management side of the game. We're going to go back. And now we're going to find Goldcrest Market on the map. So as we've tagged where we are, you can see Goldcrest Valley is quite a distance away. Right? But that's no problem. Because what we can do, we can select the steering wheel. We can select the destination. 
for example, there, our orientation, and say, just drive us there. Here we go, we've got our AI worker delivering all our lovely harvested material off to Gold Crest Valley for sale. And we're gonna get top dollar for that, provided you can get there on time, which is gonna be absolutely great. So, cool stuff, away we go. So far, so good. Now I must admit to you, I've made a little bit of a mistake in doing this. I thought I'd be a clever dicky and get myself over there to Gold Crest Valley for the maximum amount for grain. However, the tutorial does want to send you all the way up here to Johnson's Farmer's Market. It's no problem. Um, that was my mistake. Hands on me. Um, let's set that destination right there and get something up there. No problem at all. What we'll do, we'll select the right tractor, which is gonna be this one. And we're gonna go here. We're gonna say, right, set destination. We're gonna get it all the way up there for our target location and away we go. And that's it. He should be driving directly to Johnson's Farmer's Market, which is great. It's okay, it's the second best thing um, to go and sell our wheat for it's not too far away and to be honest it's what the tutorial wants you to do but given the fact we've had a look at selecting driving and using AI workers to get to different areas that's kind of okay but this is it this is the game this is learning as you go which is all good stuff now, one of the great things in Farming Simulator is the mod and the modding community even though we have harvested we're cultivating we're seeding fields as well income is not fantastic and that's the whole simulation part of the game which is great we've still got our uh, wheat that we harvested on our way to the market the farmers market to sell but it's not going to exactly break the bank we need an alternative source of income now if you've put some of the mods in that i showed in one of the beginning of the video you will notice that by holding down shift p to bring up the building menu you can actually put additional items on your farm this could be animal pens it could be um, hoppers as well it could be additional buildings whether that's barns or whether it's other stuff that you might get on different um, expansions if you look at generators this is quite good um, I've actually got something here in regards to a government subsidy now, I've only got 99 grand here, right? So, a couple of things that are going to get you a little bit of money. First off, look at that. A small wind energy converter. Ooh, look at that. We could pop that wherever it's owned. We're going to get a little bit of wind there. Um, and that will get us how much? Ooh, grand a month. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And as long as you put it somewhere on the land that you own, that's money coming in. Right, that's money coming in. So we're going to plonk that right there. Why not? Out of the way. So we got 11,000 construction costs, but within a year, we're going to see that back. That's no problem. And then, of course, okay, where the land is owned by us, we can put, perhaps, say, an additional one. Now, that's great. These are in-game items. This one here, look at that, small wind turbine. It's a lot of money, but we're going to get a lot of money back. Here's some of the great little mods we've got here. Um, government subsidy. Eight grand a month. Costs you nothing. Just plonk it in there. You know, um, and then, you know, you can you can basically sell it. You can turn it around, depending on what you want to do, right? Costs you nothing. These government subsidies are great. Now you can rotate it with the mouse key. And that's going to give you eight grand a month same with this other government subsidy other eight grand a month just just plonk it wherever you want to plonk it and that's got money coming in and that's certainly a good added bonus especially to the new farmer you've now got a nice source of income coming in here that's going to allow you to turn around and buy all the cool farming gear that you could possibly want quite fortuitously our wheat has arrived at the farmer's market Let's get back in our tractor. 
There it is. And it's that great green pillar there of the farmer's market. Cool stuff. So what we're going to do here now, and we'll just show you where that is on the map, right at the top, right up there. What we're going to do is we're going to drive around nice and easy. Just like this. We're going to make sure the trailer goes over the hopper. Here we go. And we're going to dump our wheat, who we're misses, in the hopper. So all we got to do now, quite simply, is decanter it. It couldn't be any easier. We're going to press the I key. There we go. There goes the wheat. And in comes the money. That small farm of wheat is going to get us eh, probably about 10 grand or something like that. Whatever. Whatever we made is what we made. We got $3,353 of harvest income. And that's it. That's how we've sold our crop, which is good stuff. So we're going to get this uh, all the way back to the farm. Uh, but we're not going to drive that because that's a bit laborious. And we're going to park it somewhere nice and easy. So we're going to set our destination. We're going to pick where we want to go. And that's where our AI driver is going to do it. Couldn't be any easier. Great stuff. And off he goes. Now the next mission is going to see us in this beginner's guide. Head towards the shop. So here we are in our friendly pickup truck. Ooh, check it out, driving away. We can see our farmer protagonist directly in there. We're tearing along the dotted line, passing through all the areas and outlets where we're going to be able to sell our produce. And it's going to take us into the store. Now, this is going to be the best place you're going to possibly want because this is where you're going to be able to go and get all addition, additional farming machinery. So here we are. We've arrived. This is where you can sell vehicles and tools or buy new equipment. You can either visit the shop in person by activating the shopping symbol in front of it or trigger it anywhere by pressing the button shown below. P is for the shop. Okay. Right, so, and that's it for the starting part of Farming Simulator. It's really good fun getting back into the game, you know, and if their new version comes along, there'll be additional videos for that. This is just scratching the surface. Farming Simulator is a great game, and of course, it's all based in reality. And with the way things are at the moment, you know, farming is a skill and knowledge that an awful lot of people have, and this game is a fantastic thing for that. I've been Ricardo. This has been a beginner's guide in 2024 for Farming Simulator. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you soon.